Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can reuse your desktop browser web scripts on a mobile browser using QDP. The main thing that you need to keep in mind over here is that your web application should have the same user interface on the desktop browser as well as on the mobile browser. So to begin with, I'm going to record a new script on the, de uh, on the desktop browser. So as you can see, I have selected the web add-in. Then I am going to show you how you can replay the script against an Android and an iOS device. So I have just created a new test and I am going to use the Apple website for this demonstration because it has the same user interface on a mobile phone, on a mobile browser and the desktop browser. So now I am going to click on record. And I'm going to record on this Apple website. So I will click on iPad, iTunes, iPod, iPod Shuffle, and then enter some field. So as you can see, these scripts are recorded in my uh, QTP. I'm going to save the script and now I'm going to close QTP. So now we're going to run it against, run the same script against a mobile device. So I will connect my device to the device manager. I'll begin this uh, demonstration with an iOS device. So you can see I have an iPhone connected. That is iOS 5.1. And now I will launch QTP. So now you can see that we have two add-ins. One is the normal uh, add-in for mobile browser for mobile testing and the other is to replay your scripts uh, on the mobile browser that is your desktop scripts on the mobile browser. So we will check this uh, add-in. How to enable this add-in is that when you will download uh, install our uh, tool there will be a folder which will be created in the uh, program files under the name of Jamo solutions and then Muke test. So I'll just open that folder. We can go to Jamo solutions, Muke test, and then inside setup, you have one folder for QTP web setup. Inside this folder, you have an MSI file. So to be able to enable this add-in, you need to install this MSI file. Since I've already installed, therefore I have this add-in enabled. So I will select this add-in. And I will open my script. So to begin with, we need to notify uh, the script that which mobile browser is it going to run against, whether it is iOS browser, an Android browser, or which device. So for that, I need to record or add the object of my mobile device to my script. So, okay, sorry. Okay, so we have the mobile device browser object added and only in the beginning of your script you need to execute this command called as set as QTP browser. Now this command uh, notifies device manager on which device is it supposed to execute the following script. I'll open my device RDS for you to be able to see the device browser. So as you can see, I already have the Apple website uh, open on my browser. And now I will replay the script. Just 
checking you can see it clicked on iPad and iTunes and the iPod iPod Shuffle and then it entered the field now um, so this is against an iOS device now I will run it against an Android device so let me connect my Android device I have now connected my Android device to the device manager so it is a 4.2.2 device we are going to follow the same procedure as in to notify the device manager which the browser is it going to run the script against so I will record and add an object for my Android device so we have the line recorded and like we did for iOS we are again going to execute the function set as QTP browser So first thing you click on iPad then iTunes then iPod the iPod shuffle and then enter the text I would also like to add that for this demonstration so that uh, you can see how the script is executing I have added a delay of one second between each script if you could select the run mode to be fast this uh, script execution would be faster so this is how you can reuse your browser web scripts on the mobile device for Android as well as iOS thank you